Hey guys, I want to share with you this really easy way to make homemade barbecue sauce. It's actually a lot easier than you would think. To start the barbecue sauce, you're going to add a large onion to about maybe like a half a cup of, I'm using an olive oil blend, but any, really any type of oil that you've got on hand, and you're going to saute it. I ran these onions, this onion through the food processor, but you could chop it if you'd like to. I like them a little bit thinner for the sauce. It's completely up to you. From there, you're going to add about six to eight, if you really like garlic, ten cloves of garlic. Mix it all together, and you're going to kind of just let it almost in a way simmer for a few minutes. What I like to do is add all of the spices to it. You're gonna add about three tablespoons of chili powder, about a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of salt. I add about four teaspoons of black pepper, that's up to you. Cayenne pepper if you'd like. I didn't use any, but you could use it if you'd like. I'm using, this recipe's kind of derived from a few different recipes that I've liked, so it's, it's kind of my own in that sense. So you mix it all together, let it cook for a minute, and then just add the rest of your ingredients. The first thing I had on hand was a half of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> That's a hard one to say. This really makes the sauce. This is one thing that you have to have. About four cups of ketchup. I eyeballed it. You could measure that out exact. Entirely up to you. You'll probably end up with a little bit leftovers from a bottle. <laughs> you're going to add about two-thirds of a cup of mustard, and then you're going to add a cup to two cups of brown sugar. Here I've got about a cup and a half. It depends on how sweet you'd like it. And you'd be surprised how sweet you actually like uh, barbecue sauce. Then you're going to add about a half of a cup of vinegar. They typically recommend cider vinegar or red wine vinegar. However, I didn't have any of that on hand, so I just use regular white vinegar, and it turns out just fine. Let this simmer for roughly an hour, and then put it in the fridge for at least a day. And you're good to go. I use it on pulled chicken sandwiches. You can use it barbecuing, really anything you'd like as a dip. It's absolutely delicious. I'll put the half recipe in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy.